Unto Otters, a book about manners by Lori Keller. Doo-dee-doo, doo-dee-donk. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. We're, we're your new neighbors, the otters. So there's Mr. Rabbit's house. There's the otters. Otters, otters. My new neighbors are otters. I don't know anything about otters. What if we don't get along? Pesky otters, lousy rabbit. He's already imagining them not getting along. Mr. Rabbit, I know an old saying. Do unto otters as you would have otters do unto you. What does that mean? It simply means treat others, treat otters the same way you'd like otters to treat you. Treat otters the same way I'd like otters to treat me? Hmm, how would I like otters to treat me? How would I like otters to treat me? Well, I'd like otters to be friendly. A cheerful hello. Howdy, neighbor. A nice smile. And good eye contact. There they are, having good eye contact. Are all part of being friendly. Friendliness is very important to me, especially after my last neighbor, Mrs. Grr. There's Mrs. Grr right there. She was not friendly. Voted meanest neighbor six years in a row, it says. That's no good. I like otters to be polite. They should know when to say, Please, please look. Yahoo, Mr. Rabbit, would you please return my ball there, pretty please, with the carrot on top? Would you like me to stop singing to you? Yes, please. I can say please in five languages. Por favor, which is Spanish. S'il vous plaît, which is French. Pite, which is German. Kudasai, which is Japanese. And Isple, which is Pig Latin. Say the magic word and I'll turn though these clams into a million dollars. Magic word rhymes with this, cheese. So what rhymes with cheese? Please. They should know, they should know when to say thank you. Thanks for looking. I can say thank you in five languages. Gracias, which is Spanish. Merci, which is French. Dankeschön, which is German. Arigato, which is Japanese. Ankthe Uye, which is Pig Latin. Dear Mr. Rabbit, thank you very much for returning my ball. You must have returned a lot of balls before because you made it look so easy. Balls sure are bouncy and rolly, but I'll try to keep it under control next time. Would you like me to sing to you? No, thank you. Did you say please or cheese? And they should know when to say, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, Mrs. Ot oh, Miss Otter. Excuse me, Mr. B. I need to run and check on something. Excuse me. I can say excuse me in five languages. Dispensami, which is Spanish. Pardonnez-moi, which is French. Enchildigency, which is German. Simisamisen, which is Japanese, and excuse ime, which is Pig Latin. Excuse me for interrupting your reading, but I heard you say please, not cheese. Otters should be honest. That means they should keep their promises. My word is as good as gold, fish. Not lie. I never lie. It makes me, it makes my whiskers itch. Not cheat. Cheating makes my whiskers itch too. I wonder if I should see a doctor. So far we've said please, thank you, excuse me, and be honest. I'd like otters to be considerate. You know, bring, being a good listener, asking before borrowing something, no littering, opening the door for someone, caring for all creatures, being patient, being on time, respecting the elderly, helping your neighbors. It's always good to have a considerate neighbor. It wouldn't hurt otters to be kind. 
Everyone appreciates a kind act, no matter how bad it smells. Oh, and what's that word? Cooperate. Otters should learn to cooperate. Cooperate to work well together. We know how to cooperate together. Cooperate? Did someone say operate? I see otters like to play. I hope they know how to play fair. Otters rules for fair play. Be a good sport, play by the rules, take turns, include everyone, even bees. Come on, you two. Whee! Start taking turns sliding down the mud. I'd like it if we could share. Share things. Our favorite books, Harry Otter, Goldilocks, and the Three Hares. Our favorite activities, Otter Totter and Go Fish. Our favorite treats, hmm, maybe not the treats. There's fish with some sundaes and a pizza with carrots on it. I hope otters won't tease me about my doody doo song, my extra large swim fins, my bad hair days. I hope otters won't tease anyone about anything. Teasing is mean. It's the worst. It's worse than having a clam snap shut on your nose. He's got a clam stuck on his nose. I think otters should apologize when they do something wrong. I'm sorry. I used your ear as a tissue. So he blew his nose on his, tish on his ear for a tissue. And I hope they can be forgiving when I do something wrong. I'm sorry. I called you a snotter. Oh, you. So there, that's how I'd like otters to treat me. You see, Mr. Rabbit, I told you it was simple. Do -de do 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 do. So there they all are together. Right, just do de do unto otters as you would have otters do de do unto you. All right. So we are going to make some otters that look like the ones in the book. So they don't look exactly like otters do in the wild, but they look like the funny shaped otters that are in the book. They're really fun to play with. So we're going to start with this shape, which you can do by tracing your shoe if you'd like, or you can just roughly draw like a peanut shape. So we're going to start with that. And then our otters have, like we have in our book, if you look on your first page, they've got a long body, they've got big eyes, they've got small arms and legs and a little tail. So we're going to add each of those things. So the first thing that I did, because I thought it would be fun, is to start making the eyes with a bingo dauber. So you can just dot two eyes on there and let those dry and so while those are drying we're going to cut out some arms and legs so all we really need is some strips so we'll use those strips I'm going to cut them in half again so if you want to get the same size arms or legs out of each shape we're going to start, you're going to double up your paper and cut through both strips and you're going to make sort of like a thinner at the, at the top and wider at the bottom and then we're just going to cut some slices into there and that's going to make his fingers. So you're just cutting little triangles into there and then pull the pieces out. So I'm just going to thin that out just a little bit more and I'm going to add those to his body. So just put a little bit of glue on those and I'm going to... Now these otters are busy and they're always moving around doing stuff so their arms need to be going in lots of directions. They don't need to be perfectly the same. And then down at the bottom we have a smaller version of the feet, so just little pieces of paper. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to double it up so we get the same shape for those. And I'm kind of just going to cut them in a slight triangulated shape. 
And then I'm gonna go along the bottom with my scissors and just sort of make like a little ripple. Looks like sort of his flappers on his feet because otters like to swim. And I'm gonna stick those on as well. So that's what we have so far. So otters have like a sort of a pointy tail. So I'm gonna take our piece and I'm just gonna cut a curved Cut it back the other way. So there's a piece of his tail. I'm gonna stick that on. All right, so now we're just at the decorating the otter part. So in some of our story, they had a nice smile. They said it was kind to have a nice smile on your face. So I'm just gonna take a marker and I'm gonna draw a nice smile. So whatever color you want to have. And if you want to put your white teeth in there, you can do that too. So I'm just going to take a little piece of paper. I'm going to cut similar shape to the mouth that I cut out. Stick that on there. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of extra tracing around there to make it his mouth. And then I'm going to add some feet, or some teeth. Sorry, we already have feet. So I'm going to just draw a line on there and make some big, huge teeth. And then going to use another little piece of white paper and I'm going to just make some pupils for the insides of his eyes since we did his eyes so dark. I'm going to add some little white bits of paper on there for his pupils. My hands are all sticky. There you go. That's what we have so far. So then on some of my other otters that I made, I made some clothes. So I've got some stripes or some dots. So I'm gonna use my bingo dauber and I'm gonna make some dots around the bottom of his body where he's wearing clothes because in our story, the otters have some clothes on. And I'm gonna draw a line there. So far, he's looking like one of our silly otters that's from our book. And I'm gonna make him some little ears. So I'm gonna take a little just piece of a scrap that we have here. I'm just gonna make some little bumps for his ears. And I'm gonna make that So you can keep adding more and more stuff to your otters. If you're happy with the way it is, then you can stop where it's at. So when I finished mine off, I made some eyelashes for one. I just used some black and I kind of cut little slits in them and I glued them on. Um, you can add a nose or a nose inside a nose. You can make funny teeth. So you can decorate your otters as much or as little as you want. And then you can use them to act out the manners that you ought to use.